Got a sealed box. Got some mystery box. Let's see. What else we got her? Uh, I see I'm here at uh some kind of like communications company like like telephone networks and stuff. Hey oh my goodness, excuse me. <laughs> uh, Everything else seems to be empty. That's in a business that does like these see that like digital digital uh, business telephones and stuff like that like telephone systems for for companies and stuff let's see what they left us parcel box atlas sound parcel box or something it, it, it appears this thing is well it might have been open it appears this has never been open from the factory or something manufacturer that sent it to them so let's see what it's a parcel box is exactly they got a lot of tape on it that's for sure ah uh, parcel box of nothing <laughs> no it's actually actually those are brass those are all brass. Well, that might be stainless steel. Either way, either way, that's worth a little bit of money. Let's make sure they're not tin first. Get the trusty magnet out. Uh, a lot of the screws and nuts are in there. But those dudes there are brass, I believe. Actually, those kind of look like stainless steel. It's hard to tell sometimes. Let's have a look. When it gets warmer out, I'll, I'll be able to work two-handed, so that, that'll help a lot. Let's see how I can do this. Let's see what this is. Let's see what that is. That appears to be what that is. <laughs> I'm getting old, so my near sight is starting to fail me. I have to bring my reading glasses with me. <laughs> uh, it, it appears to be brass. I, I don't know. I might have to actually, what I'm going to do is see how it's on camera right there. I can't make it out with my naked eye if that's brass or stainless. <laughs> I think it's brass. I, I don't know, but when I take it home tonight and look at the video, I'll be able to know if it's brass or stainless. Because it'll be on a big screen. <laughs> I think I need to get some glasses is what I need to do. Anyways, that's not a bad little box. I mean, that don't look like much in there at all. But, you know, that... Man, that's... I mean, that's, that might be, you know, that might be five pounds. Five pounds of stainless in there. And that, that's, that'd be clean stainless there, because see how it doesn't have anything in it. It's just, I mean, it's got like a little rubber gasket, but a scrapyard just usually let that kind of stuff slide. You know, as long as there's not like, see like this one here has got the big chunky pieces of plastic all the way through it. See, that'd be like dirty stainless. So it'd be worth a lot less. But either way, it's all, every, every bit of metal in there is worth money, you know, so, I mean. Even something stupid like that right there, a big piece of plastic with a little, with a steel bolt in it. You know, even that's worth shred. You know, that's, I mean, tin. Tin and shred are the same things. Uh, a lot of times, different scrapyards will call things different names. And they'll even have different categories and different prices. And it's, it's, it's amazing how, how different scrapyards really are. Even like, you know, in the same, even in the same town, you know. And I can't imagine how different they might be throughout the, country throughout the world you know all right well that, well, that wasn't too exciting of a box but at least now you know i'm half blind so. yahtzee uh, here's your eyes a nice score right here like they're like the uh, 
nighttime like security floodlights you see on the sides of buildings. Like see right up there on the building. That dude right there. Actually that one looks like it's plastic. See see my long range vision is just fine. That's actually excellent. But it's that close up stuff that's killing me. <laughs> but that's what that is right there. Or similar to it, you know. It almost looks like they put new plastic ones up on the building. It's almost what it looks like. <laughs> I think that's exactly what happened. But all these down here are the old style aluminum kind. So I'm just gonna jump in there and yank them all out off camera. And when I get them out, I'll fire the camera back up. All right, so I jumped in there, yanked all that stuff out, and there it all is. Big old mess of stuff. That's actually it's actually quite a bit of a that's actually quite a bit of aluminum. Uh, it's really easy to clean. These pieces of glass they come out of there. Just two screws is all it is. That's really easy. They just fall right out. And uh, some scrap yards might take it just like that for aluminum breakage, but some scrap yards might just not take any glass whatsoever. So it just depends on where you live. But those are really easy to clean. Just take a screw out, and like these, it's the same deal. Just one, two, three, four, five. Take that out. Six, seven, seven or eight screws. You know, and that, that that doesn't that hardly takes any time. So this stuff here all cleans up real quick. <coughs> these dudes have a motor inside of them. There'll be a chunky little motor in there. It'll take a little while to clean these up. I mean, not, not a little while, but com compared to just taking, you know, a couple screws out. I just take these screws out here, and, and under here there'll be a... I might be able to show it to you right now. See, there's see that motor down there. That's, some, that's a pretty good motor, uh, electric motor down there. And that electric motor in there is weighing, weighing at least five pounds. So, there's two, two nice motors. And then look at this. Here's the little gem right here. Look at that. A mag light. That's the real deal, too. That's that's no cheap little booger right there. And it feels like it works. That button feels real real lively and nice. Hear it? <laughs> and it's clean. I uh, just need to wash up the exterior. It's got two scratches on it. But, you know, that's a high-quality flashlight right there. That's something you can keep in your keep in your house somewhere you know for a rainy stormy night you know you go grab something like that it's a good deal anyways those, those are real high quality flashlights so it's aluminum and if it doesn't work I could scrap it for aluminum but if it does work that's much more valuable to just have that laying around you could even sell it if you wanted to like a pawn shop might even buy something like that you know a lot of people want to have that dude Right, so that's it. I'll clean this up real quick and show it to you. Hey, look at this here. I, I forgot all about my camera, but I was busting one of these dudes open. And inside of it, see all those wasps? Or hornets? Or whatever they are. There was a bunch of them in there. I, I was over there at that dumpster when I found them. And they're like, they're just like freezing man they're moving like in total like extra slow motion so i came over here and i knocked them out over here you can see the screws that were in the thing fell out and they they went down into these cracks and uh they're just like look at that look at that look at that see if i get stung on camera see how see how slow he is he's in slow motion he's like it's winter time man leave me alone it's winter time <laughs> But they're just all down in there. So I knocked them out over here so they could crawl in them cracks and stuff. <laughs> they were up there in their happy home and they took these lights off the side of those buildings. They had a big old nest in here. Actually, it wasn't even a nest. I, that's kind of a weird deal. I guess they're just hibernating for the winter time or whatever. I, I'm no pro on that kind of stuff, but I, they were just all. Like I had this ballast right here like this, and it's in here like this, and they were all 
in between the ballast and that aluminum frame down there in that crack. Just in there shivering. <laughs> I got all that stuff cleaned up. It took a little longer than I thought. Those little ballasts there were kind of, they were kind of some boogery little guys to get out of there in any good amount of time. But I mean, it didn't take a long time, but you know, maybe that took me maybe 10, 10, 15 minutes there, boss, in between 10, 15 minutes. But I was, I was racing the sunset. I didn't want to run out of sunlight. I only got another five or 10 minutes before the camera starts getting affected by the lack of light. I don't have my flashlights with me. Well, actually, I do have my flashlights with me. Never mind. <laughs> Anyways, that's, that's all aluminum there. I just wanted to show you all those. Show you all those cases. I mean, that's there were some pretty good deals. And I mean, this is all. That's all aluminum there. That's all aluminum. Look there. I mean, that's a, that's a nice little stack of aluminum, and you know, maybe a pound of number two insulated. And some uh, some tin shred, you know, just the cheap stuff. And then these ballasts, they all go in their own category. You know, a lot of scrapyards do things differently, but you know, you just talk to your guy at your scrapyard and see how he wants you to do stuff. But those ballasts will generally just be their own ballast category. And then some electric motors, and of course, last but not least, the the little bonus little bonus item. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you. Yeah, you could have just taken all that stuff the way exactly the way it was and just taken it to the scrap yard. You know, you didn't have to take none of that apart. You know, you could lift some scrap yards might not take that glass. But that glass is real easy to get out of there. Uh, you know, you, you don't have to clean stuff up like that. You could have just taken every bit of that in there for aluminum breakage. And it, uh, you know, by today's prices, it would have been about 10 cents a pound, you know, but you wouldn't have to do no work, you know what I'm saying? If you're in a hurry or, or whatever. But, you know, to clean stuff up like that, sometimes it gets, it gets to be quite a bit of work. But, you know, it, it really increases the value considerably when you do clean stuff like that. Because all that aluminum jumps up like three times in price. And from aluminum breakage, aluminum breakage would be 10 cents. And I think aluminum right now is at 30 cents a pound. And those motors, actually those motors are kind of irrelevant because you get 10 cents they'd be in there for breakage it'd be 10 cents a pound and that's about where a clean motor that's about where electric motors are at by themselves 10 cents a pound but all that you know that that right there is about 50 cents worth of wire and so i mean it's, it's you know if you don't want to take the time to clean stuff you don't have to i guess that's what i'm trying to say <laughs> you could you could just take you could just take all that stuff in there not even not even mess with none of it and I would have been worth 10 cents a pound. So, you know, it's not a bad way to do it, you know. It just depends on what you got going on and whatever your personal preference is, you know. And you might be thinking to yourself, how's he going to carry all that stuff on that motorcycle? Well, actually, I can carry quite a bit more than you might think. All that's down in there, like all the silver stuff, you know, that, that kind of aluminum you can just smash flat, you know, and it hardly takes up any room at all. I just got it all stacked in there. It's packed away nice. Uh, my bungee cords are a necessity, as you can see. Make sure nothing goes flying out into someone's windshield. But uh, yeah, I could still go out for another, you know, I could still go out and hit plenty more dumpsters until I'm filled up. You know, if I, if I had to, I could take this tote up and I could fill this blue one up with stuff, you know, up to like here. And I just stick the gray tote on top of that and then bungee it down real tight. So, yeah, I, I, I don't have any problem carrying, carrying considerable amounts more than you would think, you know, when the, when the word motorcycle goes through your mind. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's weird how some days it seems like the stuff I find is like, like theme oriented almost. It's, it's just really odd how some days that works out. Like I, I just went down the road about quarter mile, half mile, a totally different place, just not even associated with that place. <laughs> it's just just more of those similar types of lights but see someone's already taking all the good stuff you know someone inside that building over there took these apart and uh already claimed all the all the metal and stuff out of them yeah I, I could bust them light bulbs apart and just get that skibble scabble metal there but 
that's just you know it's just not worth breaking all that glass for that little bit of junk but that's a piece of aluminum they miss look at that i'm gonna score a half ounce of aluminum right there there's some wires in there i'll probably grab real quick when i shut the camera off but that's you know it's hardly worth anything but i just thought i'd show you that it's just it's just weird how some days it's just theme oriented now i got in there and grabbed that wire and it happened to be number one insulated wire copper wire so that you know, stuff actually starts adding up real quick and that's you know that might, that might be almost a half pound right there it's definitely a quarter pound you know and, you know you look at that and you think you know that's what's he you know that's hardly worth nothing but you just put that in here you know and it you just gather up a little bit more of that and pretty soon you know you're you got pounds of it and you know it's like a dollar it's over a dollar a pound so that's you just can't pass that kind of stuff up man i yanked another uh blender motor i, I don't know if you watched one of my previous videos when i talked about blender motors <laughs> it's just blender motor after blender motor it's just it's amazing how many blender motors you find and i guess it finally dawned on me is that that uh what happens i i think you know they've got the glass or the plastic pitchers that go on top of them blender motors and they probably break or malfunction or the seal breaks on them because I, I never find the glass pitcher that goes with the blender motors it kind of just dawned on me <laughs> they probably throw the pitcher away in their garbage can and maybe let that sit around for a day or two because i never find them together you know what i'm saying and then they eventually throw the motors away but i mean it's just it's amazing how many blender motors i find <laughs> okay so i've been waiting for this opportunity right here i'm gonna show you right now the problem with with uh, dumpster diving with pickup trucks compared to motorcycles right here <laughs> i'm gonna go do this entire entire apartment complex and come back i'll be right back <laughs> Okay, I already went and did this whole whole apartment complex. I went all the way around there, did all the dumpsters back there. Went up here, came here, did these dumpsters here. And the pickup truck's still sitting down there. And she's got like a, like a futon frame in there that's worth maybe $2, you know. And, and it's just, I mean, I, I don't know. I, I don't know how better to make my, to make my point than that. <laughs> I'm gonna go down there and, and see if she needs help. All right, so she's got this futon frame here in the back of this pickup truck, and it's taking up the, all the space. And we're gonna we're gonna yank it out of there because she wants to get these mattresses in there, and, and she doesn't have room for anything else because she got this futon. Oh, well, she doesn't have room for the mattresses because she got this futon frame taking up all the space. All right, I just rolled up on this dumpster, and there's all kinds of aluminum pans in there. And look at that brass bell right there. I, I don't have my helmet on me, so I'm got my flashlight in my hand. I'm gonna hold the flashlight in my mouth for a second and <laughs> show you this brass bell. It's not gonna be easy talking though. <laughs> That's actually a valuable little deal, that breast bill. Those aren't cheap. And there's like a stainless steel coffee pot and another stainless steel like kettle without the lid, another big thick aluminum pan, uh, a tin roasting pan, and there's insulated copper, like an extension cord, and a couple other cords down in there. That's just a real common thing, you know, I mean, it's amazing really i mean <laughs> especially that brass bell that's it weighs about three pounds maybe three or four pounds i guess it weighs two pounds but either way you know if you you can take that brass bell to the scrap yard and it'll be about three dollars just a scrap metal you know and if you really wanted to you could probably sell it on ebay or some other site or or you know offline somewhere but 
I don't know. I'll have to look into it. I, I normally I would take it to the scrapyard, but I'm gonna have to check that one out there. You know, it might be worth you know more than 20 bucks. And if that's the case, I might hold on to it. I right, so I got in there and I there's something wrong with my lights. I'm not sure what the deal is. It's really annoying me. Got some kind of loose connection going on in there. I might have got it wet. So I got in there and uh, flipped over that tote. I flipped over that tote and there's a bunch of other stuff in there. And there was another box in there with all these toasters and more aluminum pans and uh, see there's that Dremel. That Dremel right there, I can I can pretty much guarantee you that that, uh, that thing is perfectly fine. Now, I, I guess tell the way this stuff was thrown out no, it wasn't. It wasn't a garbage throw out. It was a. It was a decluttering, and uh, this weird little pumpkin. Look at that guy. And then uh, all that stuff you already saw. And there was another, actually, another green extension cord in there. But this this pumpkin here actually, it's kind of a neat deal. I'm not sure what it is. It's actually. It's actually a well-made item. I don't know. I'm not sure what to make of that thing. It's not marked at all. It's actually kind of a nice deal. I'm not sure. I might want to snatch that up, find out what it is. Cause it's, it's, you know, it's not it's not a cheap thing. It's not cheaply made. It's nice. But uh, that's about it. But you know, I mean, it's just, you know, and I already got this big load. And uh, you know, I I will put this box on my lap and, and I'll bungee cord all this other stuff on there but that will be a full load for me <laughs> but uh that's my light right there <laughs> but it's amazing you know if you if you go out and look you know I'm not gonna lie to you it's it's you know it's it's work you know if, if you don't like working you know just you don't go do this because it's work yep if you're afraid to work then you know, you just you don't want to go, you don't want to go out and try to make money dumpster diving if you don't like to work. So, I don't want to give you the wrong idea about this being super easy. But uh, you know, if you go out there and and if you work, I mean, you just find this this big grips of stuff. That, you know, I mean, that's that's it adds up. There's no way around it. Okay, so I changed my mind about putting that box on my lap. I'm going to put that pumpkin on my lap because I decided to take that pumpkin. I saw in the comments that you guys might be liking some of these some of these big old loads I take in on my motorcycle. So there's one for you. <laughs> Have you ever wondered what happens if you don't change your brake rotors in time? <laughs> Check that out. What do you think about that? Coming out of a parking lot, I hit the brakes. And it, it just snapped. And so you know, I, I was wondering what would happen. I I have the rotor at home. I should have I should have put it on by now. But that metal is so thin. When that happens, it's just that metal is just it's just futile. It's just like it's just like a little you know just super thin sheet metal. And it just it, it can't do absolutely anything. You know, I suppose if it got wrapped up in the spokes. You know, and t got tied in a knot, you know, it'd be trouble.